Hello friends, welcome to another beautiful day here at Sophia Kamau's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make green bananas, my second recipe for the bananas. And today I'm going to cook them with beef. I have all the ingredients lined up here. I will go through them. I do have bananas, of course, I have about two bunches of bananas. They're in the sink, uh, just to show you here. And uh, I do have a small bunch of cilantro, four small carrots. This is really optional, but I just like adding it for color. I have one medium onion. I have three tomatoes. Mine are frozen, so they are defrosting and I'm going to blend them. I have about 800 grams of beef. I will use a teaspoon of salt to start with and then adjust as I go and I will use a third cup of oil. To start, I'm going to chop my onion so that uh, I cook the beef first. And my beef is a soft beef. It's not that uh, very tough one. By the time I finish cooking the uh, beef, my bananas will be ready for adding. I'm going to prepare my cilantro too to be ready here. Now I'm going to blend my tomatoes. Now I'm going to add oil, about a third cup, it is uh, six tablespoons. And then if you like more oil on your food, you can add, but this is good for me. Good enough to cook my onions and then add the beef. So I will continue cooking the onions until they uh, turn a little bit brown, not completely, and then add the uh, beef. I'll also peel the carrots very quickly. The carrots are already uh, peeled. Now I will just chop them to small sizes. And I said again, this is just for color. You, if you don't have carrots, you don't have to add them into your bananas. Now I'm going to add the beef. And the star is a little bit here. Make sure everything combines. And then I will add a teaspoon of salt and cook with that for, to start and then if it's not tasty enough then I can add. I will cover this now and let it cook with the steam. So if you have seen my former video, the first one for bananas, I oil my hands in order to help the sticky sap not uh, stain my hands so i oil my hands uh, properly and then i will start peeling the bananas which i had already sliced them twice both ends and removing the edge you don't have to remove the edge if you want and you slice there and there and then you slice uh, i remove the edge and uh, slice here and here and then let it be in the water and the water will help uh, rinse off the uh, sap so I will peel just like this very easy some people like using the knife I don't like because I feel sometimes the knife uh, takes some of my banana and I do like this don't forget to be checking your beef on the stove I keep going a second one here I will also remember to link my previous video and you will see how I peel the bananas that one I was really serious about showing how to peel the banana in two ways 
so I'll continue with this until I finish then I show you what next so I have finished peeling my bananas so I just see where the little green stuff left but uh, when you peel by hand it's really better than using the uh, peeling with a knife so now I will cut like that and cut like two times or you can cut smaller ones if you wish and uh, I continue like this by the way this is a uh, clean water I just uh, switched from the one I cleaned the bananas with I'll do like this and then when I finish I will add even now I will add a teaspoon of salt to remove or more to remove the sap from the banana from the inside of the banana so I continue cutting like this now I am washing to remove the sap from inside the banana itself see all these particles white particles are coming you can you don't have to do this but this is how I always did and I saw my mom do you remove sap and the bananas taste better and the salt is uh, is something that helps by removing more sap see all that look at that all those particles is the uh, banana sap after this I just only need to rinse once and put in a clean bowl and take to the stove. The time I took to peel my bananas, um, my beef is cooked and the water has dried and now it's just frying on the oil that I was using to cook with. So now I'm going to add the cilantro I don't want to add all of it and I will add the carrots for now because the carrots are a little bit harder I will cook with them for now it, it won't cook for long and just uh, wait for the cilantro to release aromas before I add my bananas and the tomato The cilantro has released really good aroma and they've been fried by the oil and now I will add the, the tomatoes. As I said again, you can add more or less depending how much you like tomatoes in your food. So I'll let this tomato cook and see because it was frozen it has a lot of uh, liquid in it. So I'll let it cook a little bit. I let the tomatoes cook like for two, three minutes and now I will add the bananas and the tomatoes will continue cooking. So I will stir a little bit here and make sure everything is mixed and I will need to add some uh, water to add the stew and mm, that looks good mm -mm. I will start by adding like two cups of water it will depend some people like their bananas very soggy and some not I'll add two cups of water for me and for this I think this is good enough if you like them more soupy you can add more and again depending with how much tomatoes you have or how much liquids my beef I let it dry all the liquid so I had to add water but if you still had liquid from the beef you can just eyeball it yourself and decide how much liquid you want for your banana I will cover them now let them cook 15 to 20 minutes while I am checking and we will come back see how our bananas are looking like after 15 minutes this is how my bananas look and let's see how they are done yeah it's all cooked it's good and I just have to stir a little bit more 
Mm, mm, mm. This reminds me home when I was little and young. We were fed a lot of bananas because we grow plenty of them there. So there you go. And my um, bananas are cooked. So here is when you test and see if the salt is good. Mm, perfect. And then if you want them a little bit uh, more liquid with it, you do so. But for now, my bananas are ready for serving. Welcome back. Our bananas are done. They are cooked. They are here. They are so appetizing. I can't wait to eat. And it was very, very simple to make. It's just like potato stew, but you use banana instead and the flavor is amazing. Now it is your turn. Go ahead and give this a try. Let me know how yours turn out. And again, we will keep on building on uh, our recipes and our banana recipe too. I have a variation of recipes and ingredients to add, but for today, this could be the most basic one you can make. Give it a try and tell me how you like it. Until we see you again, remember to like, subscribe and share. Bye.